All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we got some breaking Jets news, right? A, a big report coming out early this morning. But I, I think it came out like three hours ago. I'm filming this at 9.30. This report came out three hours ago. Uh, again, from Ian Rapport, the NFL Network. And then Josina, uh, Josina Anderson actually came out and doubled down on this report. Uh, but first things first, I'm, I'm back home, right back on the West Coast. Uh, I evacuated because of the hurricane and yeah, no major damage here over at the apartment. Luckily, no one I know um, experience any damage. Actually, the only thing I had, so th this, I have a window right here and the window leaks water when it rains. Um, so even though I pulled my desk out, I still had a couple of things that I actually use for YouTube on the desk. So I got to go replace that stuff later on today. But yeah, outside of that, no damage, which is, you know, awesome. And yeah, things are good. So I am extremely, extremely grateful and thankful. And I just want to say thanks, right? I mean, there were so many people reaching out, um, you know, just saying like, hey, stay safe, man, you know, you, you're doing okay and, and everything like that. I, I mean, we, the West Coast had the back-to-back -back, um, hurricanes, right? Helene and Milton, uh, even though Helene kind of just came up the side and uh, ultimately just really like plowed into the panhandle of Florida, there were still effects down here. Um, but yeah, again, I just wanted to quickly say thank you. I mean, all those messages, all those comments meant a ton. And uh, yeah, it, it was really cool, right? Because when the power would come back on, I, I would, you know, scroll through and, you know, start going through comments. And I'm like, dude, like the Jets fans are awesome, man. Jets fans are, are the best. But anyway, let's dive into this report here. So Rappaport goes on to say that CAA, uh, Reddick's former agency, and the New York Jets ended up working out a one-year contract that would make up for all of Reddick's fines. And he would get a little bit more uh, as well, right, in this one-year deal. However, Reddick declined the deal. And again, Josina Anderson came out and uh, confirmed that, right? Kind of doubled down on the report. And based off of this information, you know, it, it makes me ask the question, why wasn't this talked about uh, before? What is the real root cause here? Why doesn't Reddick want to sign a contract, right? Did Philly know this? There's a lot of questions, right? Did, did the Eagles know this? Howie Roseman know this? Uh, because there, there was plans to hold out over in Philly, right? Like you talk to Eagles fans, they're like, dude, he was gonna do the same exact thing over here. Um, so uh, look, ultimately, you know, bottom line, does this impact anything? No, right? It, it, I, I had very little faith that Reddick was going to show up and you know sign this rework deal after being fined all this money. And now all of a sudden he's just rushing the passer a couple weeks later. I just don't see that happening, right? I do think that Reddick shows up eventually so he can get out of the contract and this doesn't just restart into 2025. But yeah, I, I mean, just talk about a weird situation. It, it's strange from Reddick's end. The agency obviously let him go this past week, um, which tells me, okay, well, if Reddick isn't going to be negotiating for himself, we haven't got word that there's another agency lined up that Reddick just you know joined. Who is going to be negotiating a contract? I would not be surprised if the Jets just flat out release him. You know, like, like you know what I'm saying. So if if there's going to be no agency, no talking about a contract, why would the Jets just linger around? Why, why would the Jets just keep him there? You know, so I, I would say up to this point, this has got to be one of the worst, if not the worst, trade in Jets history. Um, I don't know what exactly went wrong. Um, Again, you kind of feel like, all right, Philly was just ahead of the game here and they flipped Reddick to the Jets knowing that, hey, if you don't pay him a lot of money, then he's going to be holding out. And to be honest with you, I mean, I felt like there should have been more due diligence from Joe Douglas and the Jets. We've heard a ton of like team sided reports on the matter, but still to this day, right, we're in October. We're in October. We've been asking these questions since the off since the early stages of you know, the off season, like right when the trade went down, why haven't we heard from Reddick's side on what exactly he wants? Normally there would be like another reporter suggesting, okay, well, Hassan Reddick wants X amount or he wants a four year deal, a five year deal, you know, whatever it is. Like he, they'll have the, the, the big name reporter kind of voice the player's demands. And then it's a little bit of this, you know, kind of tug of war between the team and the Reddick and they're both using the media to kind of get information out there as well as to, um, 
you know, inform the fans while at the same time putting pressure on both sides. In this case, we just haven't heard it. All we're seeing is team-sided reports, right? Making the team look good, but not, you know, Redick. And then from Redick's side, we're not hearing any reports there. You know, the only thing that we've heard from Hassan Redick, he did the charity event where he spoke. Didn't, you know, obviously dive into contract details there. He had a tweet on Twitter basically saying, you know, don't, like there's more to the story. Don't believe everything you read, uh, you know, essentially, right? That's not verbatim. Um, and that came out a day after uh, the Connor Hughes report, uh, which was again, team sided. So I have no idea what's going on. Is there an end in sight? I, I would assume probably not. Uh, I would not be surprised if the Jets just outright release him because if there's not going to be any negotiations, then what's the point of this continuing on? CAA has dropped Hassan Reddick apparently, which means that, again, if Reddick does not find another agent or does not want to negotiate, then, I, I mean, I guess there's a chance that Reddick could just show up and, you know, on the current deal, you know, I, I guess, but... I don't know, man. The, again, this is to me the wor one of the worst trades in Jets history, um, and you know I, I, it felt like accountability was the word, kind of the, the the word of the week last week when it came to the Jets talking about you know players need to be held accountable, coaches need to be held accountable, solid being fired. We need to hold you know accountability, right? We we also need to hold accountability in this situation as well. Um, which is that this trade just simply does not, it has not worked out. We let a bunch of pass rushers go. We still really need a pass rusher. So what's Joe Douglas going to do, right? What is Joe, we've already seen the pressure get to Woody Johnson enough to where he's fired Robert Sala. You know, is that pressure going to keep mounting? This, this Monday's huge. This Monday's gigantic, right? Jets, Bills, if we win, we're in a great position. But if we lose, we're still in a fine position, right, with the, uh, questions over in Miami with New England kind of, you know, seeming to, I would say maybe say lack of direction at this point in the early stages, early, early stages of this rebuild. It really kind of feels right now that it's, you know, Jets and the, Jets and the Bills. And if we lose to Buffalo, it's not like the, the division is out of reach, right? We There's so much football, so much football left to be played. And we play Buffalo again at, at some point this season. But man, if we can get a W, um, I think that would be just uh, incredible for the vibe of the team, for the fans, for the coaches, for Ulrich. I think it'll be really, really cool. Anyway, anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.